I wonder if they'll ever change that jingle. But then it would feel weird if it does change. It is a mythic. Okay, no triple mythics. What's that? <laughs> what is that? Oh! Is that Medeas? Foolish human. You dare disturb my slumber. So, uh, I know a lot of people think I don't play Fire Emblem games, but Chow Dragon was one of the games that I really, uh, really conflicted about. I enjoy it, and there's so many things I don't like about it. But it's nice to see Medeas here. Hololess Dragon. He looks so epic. There's something about old men. What was that? Take your what is position. that symbol? Whoa, his stats. Suffer and die. 100 damage. Oh, let's go. He's dark. Obviously, he's dark. <laughs> New light mythic, Medeas. <laughs> no, no. It's very fitting for him to be dark. Uh, he also buffs her attack. Oh, this banner is looking kind of... Uh, yeah, I remember looking at the calendar and thinking this was a bit iffy. This is iffy. Ooh, chat, this is iffy. Oh, but Idun is back. Wait, is that our first Ascendant Hero on a... Is it? A Ludring Mythic Banner. Is that our first Ascendant Hero on a, such a banner? And yeah, Mass, Mass Spark. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It just feels so weird to see a Dune already. It honestly feels like a Dune was only here like a couple of months ago. Anyways, Earth Dragon King is our next next mythic hero. Oh, jeez. Is that the most badass looking character in the game? I thought when Kanigas released, he was super cool looking. So majestic. Especially of his mane. There's something about Medeas. Big, burly dude with a lot of resonating evil energy. I like that. Zuriel, welcome back. 29 months. Thank you so much. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so it's really nice to see Medeas. He is a villain that I have some experience with. Oh my goodness. His C slot. It's chaos control. I'm kidding. Uh, I made that stupid joke before with... Uh, well, not everyone has played Sonic or, like, knows who Shadow is, but, like, I made that stupid joke when um, we had or Makoto, Horn's mother. Uh, yeah, so it's nice to see that's a real thing. If foe within four spaces, unit triggers cancel, inflicts cancel control on that foe, and then limits the number of spaces target move will cancel through the next action. If target's range goes one, target move one space when cancel triggers. If target's range goes two, target after action ends when cancel triggers. So, yeah, it, it really means if you're range, you can't move, and if you're melee, you can move one slot so it evens out as being a maximum one space away from the engaged target so that makes some sense hi hi steel knitter welcome back 16 months thank you so much okay but there's much more to this defense res ideal 4 is back and prior to this it was on pirate surter if i recall correctly really good slot uh a slot for a lot of these heavily heavily armored heroes and then he has uh or heavily you know bulked up heroes and then he has assured rebirth is he gonna rebirth is he gonna take over phase roll no way if he has res is over foes res you make his guaranteed fall attack wow so res check for auto doubles reduces damage from attacks during combat from aoe da, 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 da. by percentage equals number of staff or dragon allies in three spaces funky but makes some sense times 20 and also if units res is over foes res difference between stats times four maximum 40 percent total what what <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry. I thought I thought damage reduction meta was dead, but it's back with a vengeance. So, two criterias. One criteria based on number of staff and dragon allies within three spaces. Another criteria based on units res over foes res, and then difference between stats times four. In other words, he can truly stack up to 60% damage reduction. That is painful. My goodness, that is the best Dragon Wall in the entire game. Because it's not just damage reduction. It's a combination of auto doubles and superior damage reduction. And, and yeah, it's still by res check. So yeah, it's a improved Dragon Wall. A perf Dragon Wall B slot. 
60% damage reduction is realistic for this dude. Uh, Glacius is going to be a nuke, so let's not even bother talking about that. Anyway, Shall Breath grants attack plus 3. At start turn, grants attack rest plus 6. So he self buffs and on guard. On guard neutralizes damage outside of combat from skills like Poison Strike, structures like Bolt Tower, except damage dealt by area of effect specials. What? What the heck? That means you can't, like, Savage Blow him? For example, Bolt Towers, if you leave him in front of Bolt Tower, it just passes through him. If something survives attacking him, like with Poison Strike, it just does nothing. What a strange ability. Hey chat, what do you think this is going to be really, really good for? Oh my goodness, I just realized. Wait a second, he's a Ether Raid's defense hero. Avoiding the Bolt Tower is huge. Oh boy, okay, so that makes perfect sense now. Wow, an anti-bolt bolt tower, if you guys don't know, is like the cleanest and easiest way to defeat oh, savior wow. heroes. And why did you owe woe here for this big burly dude? Hey, anonymous, you, you're not anonymous. We know who you are. Anyways, that makes a lot of sense to me. Wow, okay. That's pretty serious. And because he's a dark mythic hero, he is avoiding Naga, which means unless you're specifically Oh, well, it's not like he gets a free pass. That's definitely true. I'll get back to that. At start combat, inflicts attack res by six on foe during combat and foe can make a fall attack. So he can only get hit one time. He should be able to double with assured rebirth. Uh, rebirth. He has a shit ton of damage reduction. And at 60% damage reduction chat, it actually is impossible for him to like die even if there's effective damage. Because at 60% reduced, that is less than 100% still. Wow. Wait, did something happen? Defense res plus nine. The sword cat does four damage. So as a colorless unit, he has no advantages, but he has no disadvantages. Colorless, who's a colorless killer in terms of offense? Colorless killing is mostly in terms of defense, but his stats are actually available. So let's check it out for a moment. All right, Medeas with 40 HP, that is really low. He's heavily min maxed. 18 speed, wow. The min maxing here is incredible. What the heck? This doesn't even make sense to me. He's 63 attack base? What? Okay, just before people forget, Shadow Breath actually uh, buffs him for attack and res up by 6. So that means he's 63 attack base and 43 res base. This guy's incredible. So 40 HP, 63 attack, 18 speed, 38 defense, and 43 res. In effect, because Shadow Breath should always be triggering, it's actually higher and very sustainably higher. Uh, Yes, you can panic him, but will anyone run a panic hero nowadays? I don't see a versus use offensively ever again. Uh, panic towers offensively are kind of rare as well, so... Yeah, he probably retains those stats. And retaining those stats mean he's going to be a really pain in the butt up. Wow, look at that team with him. He's going to get 60% damage reduction with this team easily. So yeah, he's going to be very terrifying and very hard to kill. It's funny how Medeos completely counters Ishtar. Can't wait to see her do four times zero. Guess Teeny was the true ascended hero in that banner. I agree. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, but damage reduction right now got a huge boost here, which means the heroes that have anti damage reduction are actually more valuable as a result. And the amount of Medeas we're gonna fight, I think is gonna be pretty sizable. You guys still fight Saros's on a weekly basis, right? Medeas is just a better Saros. So I would expect to see him a lot more. And because he's anti-Bolt Tower, and Bolt Tower are, is one of the most commonly used offensive structures, and because he can be placed in the front and use Cancel Control, he's going to be very annoying for a lot of teams to deal with. Now, in terms of team composition, it's not the greatest. If you run a Knot Line, he's not going to fit in at all. So for, for people who run Knot Lines, this is not for them. But Medeas in a combination with, say, Catria, you can form a really strong team with that. Because people can't approach anymore, because he has cancel control. People can't just wait for the bolt tower, because he's anti out of combat um, skills triggering. And by doing such a thing, because Katra is on a dark season, she doesn't have to worry about Ellie meme. I think you can make a really strong team if you run him. But again, it wouldn't be a cav line or like a super movement cav line. So yeah, it's not really for like not line users. It's gonna be for somebody else wants to develop a solid team 
but I can see a lot of really good usages with him. So that's why I think he's a really good, strong unit. If you guys were to rate him out of 10, how highly would you rate him? Isn't he perfect? I think he is. Just so you guys know, when, when um, Saros came out, I gave her like 9.5 out of 10. I thought she was ridiculous for a time. Now, that was on her release, which was like a year ago. So you shouldn't be saying like 9.5 in 2022. I wouldn't even say that in 2022, but on her release, she was amazing. That's why in terms of um, A Hero Rises, she was the winner halfway through, even though she didn't win by the end of it, she was the overall favorite going through it all because everyone recognized how strong and well, it's Saros and she's popular, but now I think Medias is exactly that. I don't really fault him for his weakness because at 60% damage reduction, that is still less than 100%. So even if you have uh, anti-dragon stuff, he still doesn't get hit that hard. And because you can't auto double him unless you have no follow-up, like which hero is going to do all these things? That's what I'm thinking about. So that's why I think he's really, really, uh, a really, really ridiculous hero. C can you give him a 10 out of 10? I don't know about that, but I think he's he's really, really top top notch. Again, you guys shouldn't just assume Marv is going to do it. Marv doesn't ignore damage reduction, chat. You would need a hero that can reduce, uh, ignore damage reduction or hit so hard it's not going to matter. Maybe Ledgering Marth can do it, but then Ledgering Marth wouldn't be able to be deployed all the time, so there are issues there. Brave Alm, if he does not kill him in one shot, he will die. Because Brave Alm is Wind Sweep, not Water Sweep. Which means if he can't kill him in one shot, he's going to get hit twice and he's going to die. Yeah, I don't think people understand the math. As I said, effective damage is 1.5x, but you reduce that by 60%. That's less than 100%. He's not going to die in one shot. Whoa, this is actually not a bad banner if you go for Carlos. If you snipe for Carlos, I think this is really strong. Mikai is still a really good Ledger hero. Ellie Meme is amazing. I think everybody should have Ellie Meme if you intend to do Astro Season seriously. And Medeus. Medeus is just a much better Saros. You know what? If they put Saros in this banner, it would have been really insulting. So I'm glad they didn't do that. But for blues, you have one of the best savior heroes in the entire game in a dune. Legend Dimitri is not bad. Legend Jewel is not bad. But uh, yeah, I don't think those two are particularly good. But a dune really carries some weight as well. A guaranteed. I mean, if you spark this, you can get a guaranteed floret, right? So that's pretty good. Green isn't terrible. Thor and Odor. But then Hell's not great. And for red, I think red's really pedestrian. Honestly, I think everybody has the two mythics and uh, Flavius is, is, is okay hero. She's actually pretty good, but like nobody needs more sword heroes. I mean, if you spark, you can guarantee that Florette. I don't know. You guys can let me know, but this is our next mythic hero. The Earth Dragon King with Dias. So yeah, let me know if you guys are going to pull. For me personally, I might consider sparking this. Maybe. Or sniping for Carlos, getting one more Ellie meme or one more Dune would be pretty, pretty, like amazing, I would say. But as a whole, this banner is kind of weak outside of Carlos, I think. They exist, Fatal Guy, also make way for the era of candle control for Delzis. Anyways, anyways, that is the banner.